Hi, I'm Rowan. Hi, I'm Zach. And you're watching uh, episode four of season three of In the Zone. And today we're going to be discussing the Twilight Zone episode, The Prime Pass. <laughs> or, sorry, we're going to be discussing the Twilight Zone episode, The Passers By. Freudian split. So. <laughs> Maybe. We're going to spoil the entire thing. So if you don't want to spoil, then check it out and then come here and see our discussion. So we start out, we're in old timey times. The Civil War just yeah. ended and we're Can in the we South. Say, from the panning in, I thought this could be a great episode because like the pan in looked really great. <laughs> okay. And then... <laughs> so... All these like people who were like wounded and stuff, they're returning from the war and they're walking down this old dirt road. This guy with a crutch shows up on this um, house where this woman's on her front porch. And so he asks her for water and she says, yeah, and so he drinks some. Then they talk about a tree. Once that tree was beautiful, but now <laughs> that tree is not beautiful. <laughs> and so, um... She, he sits down on the bench by the tree and he plays his guitar that he made. It looks a little weird. And so she's like, My husband used to play guitar. She's like crying in every scene. And so yeah. she's like, Oh, my husband's dead. He was killed by the Yankees. And she is uh, really over the top. This yeah, actress. Acting is rough. Uh, no, I don't think so because I or think. I guess they didn't have a lot to work with. Like, this, the acting seemed rough because it was not natural. I think Charlie Constable, who comes later on, is very good at his very small part. I think the main guy with the guitar, I think he's fine. So basically, in these monologues she has, which are mostly pointless, um, they, really the main thing that's supposed to come out is, and it comes out in a really clunky way, is that he is, like, has, like, anger built up towards the, like, Union soldiers because they killed her husband. So he sings a song, and then she sings along. And then, whoa, I mean, this scene, the cold open before we go to the first commercial, it's so long and, like, padded. That's bad. We fade black. We come up, and the woman's like, oh, there's Charlie Constable coming down the road. Charlie, I thought you were dead. And then he's like, I don't want to stop. I'm almost there. Gotta keep moving. And then he leaves. But he leaves his hat yeah. for some reason. He has a good, like, unsettling performance, because when you see him, like, you feel like, Ugh. You yeah. feel scared. Something's just off about him. Charlie's pretty clearly dead <laughs> before you pick up his cap and, and say, say blood it's blood in his cap. cap. What the heck? I wonder what that means. Does it mean he's dead? Ah! <laughs> no, that would be too crazy. So then later at night, he's finished chopping wood, this guitar yeah. man. I don't know his name. Chopping Sorry for some reason. He's like, ah, oh, wood. I always am good with the wood, whether it's carving or chopping. <laughs> or... Wearing points to like something for leg, I think. He's he's talking about his guitar. He's like, I've made this guitar. My, my, my mom papa just... said, you're a failure. I hate you. Or something like that. And, and then I said, I'm going off to the war. And he said, ah, oh, you're not a failure, but you might die. <laughs> <laughs> but he, it looks like closes... I'm coming back after all. He, he closes his line with a hearty laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uncomfortable too. <laughs> so then he sings his song. And then he's like, my husband used to sing that song. So he's strumming on the guitar while she's talking. That's sketchy. And then she keeps talking, and then he starts humming. And then he starts singing under her talking. And like, she is talking to him, and he is singing a song. That's not a big guitar. problem. I just, I thought like, that's nothing that, unrealistic. that doesn't happen with normal people. <laughs> so then she's like, I wonder what happened to the man who killed my husband. Is it celebrating with his family? Is it laughing? And then he's like, uh, probably not. And then <laughs> she's like, I'm going to kill that man. I'm going to kill the first Yanka soldier. Yeah. And before she's I like, do it, I'm going to say, you're the last guy to play of the Civil War. This first Yanka soldier who walks by, I'm going like, to shoot. And then he's like, you got too much anger. You're going to die. Or something. Or like, like, poison. That's like poison in your mind. Basically, okay. he's sort of, the opposition saying maybe don't shoot people in the head. He's like there should be no more death because a bunch of people died. And then a guy on a horse shows up and he's like, and so he's a shadowy face and he asks for water, right? Did you so when you saw that his oh, face was in that. shadow was for like a good solid two minutes? Did you think maybe his face is weird? Well, I I just I that's not my first thought was not maybe his face is weird. Because by this point, you very much know some of the people are dead, and maybe some of the people are not dead. 
So I was thinking, like, what if that's the living guy? And that's why you can't see his face. That was, like, one thought that I had. And so the guitar guy is like, oh, you saved my life, remember? And the guy's like, oh, yeah. And then, and then Lavinia, like, has a shotgun aimed at him, and she's like, I'm gonna shoot you! Guitar guy jumps on the gun, knocks it out, and then Lavinia's but then he, like, heck no, I pick, then you picks, picks it, it up, up and shoots him anyways. And then the guy, he just sits there, and then the guy's like, oh wait, it's all coming back to me! You were killed after you saved my life, yes, I remember now for some reason. And you screamed, oh, my eyes! I'm blind, yeah, and then he's like, uh... The water, please. I've been waiting here for a while. <laughs> Can so, you guys give me the so water? He goes, and he gives the water. And we got suspenseful music. And it's just like, it's not subtle suspenseful music. It's really, really loud suspenseful stuff before you know anything suspenseful is going to happen. And it's extremely distracting. So he gives him the water, but there's a thing where, like, he doesn't take it. So he has to, like, give it to him because he's, like, can't see. <laughs> <laughs> so then he holds up a lantern. Messed up face! And maybe you start the sensual music when he's raising the lantern. Yeah. But like, while he's drinking the water from his hands, it's just like... Sure. Dear, right. dear. So then, he leaves. And he's like, this too shall pass. Referring to her trying to shoot him. At this point, it's just, if there's any doubt that everyone's dead, they're dead. Because he remembered him being dead, he didn't get hurt when they shot him like a ghost. Yeah. Then we fade to black, then we come up, and then the guitar guy is leaving. And I guess this pretty much is the next... This only took place over like a day. So it's like the morning, he's leaving, and he's like, oh, I noticed in the night they stopped coming, and then I realized something, but then he doesn't say. And then he's like, like I want to find... A lot of fake suspense. <laughs> yeah. Like here, it's like, what is it? What is it? I think, oh, I don't know how to put it. <laughs> oh, well, if I knew how to put it, then I would put it that way, but I, oh, I don't know the words, I don't know how to put it, right. how do I put this? He wants to find what's at the end of the road. But then he's like, don't go, I don't want to be alone. And then I hear someone singing the song that he sung. What an interesting coincidence. It's our hubby, Judd. The guitar guy's like, I'm going to see you at the end of the road, I'm sure. So then he leaves. And then Judd is like, life is like a song. You move on when it's over. And when the notes die off, <laughs> then that is when your time is done to stop being alive. We're dead! <laughs> yes, we're dead, Lavinia. And she died of a fever. Okay. So then, um... He's like, I'll wait for you at the end of the road, so then he leaves. And then, who stops by but Honest Abe himself. Yes, that's right, Abraham Lincoln. He's like, you should go down the road. And it's so funny. It's like, what the heck are you doing here? It's like, it's, I mean, it's distracting. It's like, what a dumb decision. Yeah. It could be, you could, I mean, the episode's not getting saved. But John could have said, um... Why don't you meet me at the end of the road? She says, all right, I'm dead, whatever. And then they walk up together. But then you have to bring out Abe. A solid Abe appearance would be bad. And a bad Abe appearance is worse. Right. And so... Because Abe is like, you know, Julius Caesar said this in Shakespeare. Yeah, he says, don't fear death. And he says, I'm the last casualty of the Civil War, so I'm the last person on the road. So no one else is coming, so you're going to be alone. So just come down. Let's, let's take a walk. It's awkward. So then she runs after Judd, end of the episode. Lots of rough stuff in this. Rough stuff. R U F F S T U F F. Yes. Rough stuff. Trademarked. Now, with rough stuff, 514, and you get one free. Okay. What? Make us cancer, diabetes, stroke, heart attack. Did we just turn into like a sketch comedy duo? Yes. I thought we were doing in the zone. Maybe. maybe rough not. stuff. Rough stuff. By today, your local Walmart. That's any more sketch comedy duo. <laughs> But it did and baby now comes the rough stuff. Hey, what are you? Whoa! The audience just just clapping. Comes the rough stuff today. So the one redeeming thing about the Abe appearance, because Abe is appearance funny. is rough. Well, it's funny, but the other thing is they all kind of have the idea of this like, oh, I'ma shoot the Yankees, and she doesn't shoot Abe, sure. and she's not even angry at Abe. Well, Abe no, well here's the thing him. though. She isn't angry, but she knows that shooting doesn't work, because she already tried it out. Yeah. But yeah, the episode is bad. They're trying to reveal a twist at the end. <laughs> Who was not well, expecting that? The so lamest can you just say, twist. All right. It's a lame twist. So, here's a, a, a standard rule in the Twilight Zone. If someone complains of a fever, they are dead, have died, will die, <laughs> or like are about to die. Not a surprise that she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> and guess all these people, there's blood. We thought you were dead. Oh, we thought you were dead too. Oh, I remember you died. 
But oh, you're, uh, what didn't a you die? <laughs> How fortunate. Wow, I thought I died. But looks <laughs> like I did not die. <laughs> Abe is stupid. Uh, acting over the top, especially from Lavinia. I think if we, this episode, like, had a really great actress, then I think it could have been really compelling. It would have at least been better than it is. Yeah. But just, the way it is, it's just sort of laughable. Dialogue doesn't flow that well, I think. It doesn't flow? Especially in the first scene. I found that some of the it's, lines it's pretty forced. pretty forced. Yeah. It's pretty forced, like, oh, that reminds me of this, and this thing has to come out. Yeah. I, I, I totally agree. I wrote, dialogue is dumb. And that's something that I rarely notice. But the dialogue, it just isn't well written in yeah. terms of just... Usually when we say it's not well written, we talk about the way it's structured as a whole. But here, because the dialogue is not good. It's very, um, over the top. Yeah. Like, oh, and then the birds, the... The, the bullfrogs would be quiet just to hear him play on his guitar. And, and the expository dialogue is really clunky. Yeah. So what's good? Vaguely interesting. Right? Yeah. Like, I think besides the... how over alluded to it is. Like, it's vaguely intriguing that you have a road where all of the dead people walk along it in chronological order. <laughs> I think um, it creates a good creepy mood. Charlie? And a good melancholy mood. Um, Charlie Constable was a good actor. The guitar guy was pretty good. I think Abraham is solid. Go. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> um. All right. So, what are your alternate twists? Alternate twists. Well, well, we you can't have an alternate twist because the road setup inherently yes, leads to that one. But solution. here's an alternate twist from me. Guitar guy is Judd all along. What did she recognize him? No. Three, two, one, two Four. and a half. Two and a half, wow. I don't feel that strongly about it. I mean, yeah, it's bad. I laughed out loud numerous times at dumb plot, dumb dialogue. Yeah, it's it's pretty dumb. But, I mean, there's some, it's fine. It's it's just, just an interesting story. I and, stand by my two and a half. And I would say the good things are the character dynamics are interesting. The sort of, oh, don't shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. Those, I think the characters work. I think uh, Lavinia's very one-dimensional. I agree. I agree. A for lot sure. of I didn't like the characters. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's just an interesting setup and a, a cool tone, but obviously I think probably bad. the only redeeming things are Charlie and also it's vaguely interesting that you have dead people. But I think Twilight Zone overuses death. Like, like a lot like, of they were so, dead so the whole can, time. Can we, can we list our dead ep dead death episodes? One for the angels. Like the death. What do you mean they overuse it? I mean, they don't There are a lot mean, of episodes where someone cheats death, circumvents death, it's not... is alive the whole time, is dead the whole time, everyone else is dead the whole time. No, that's what's great about the Twilight Zone is there's this familiarity of these motifs and these themes that keep coming back and keep getting reworked and in different ways. It's a variation on a theme. Never do you see the same kind of thing twice. Catch us uh, next week when we talk about a game of pool. So we'll see you then.